Now you worked on the EP with some other South African musicians, the guys from yeah. Gangs of Ballet. Oh yes, yeah. What was it like working with them? Oh, it's cool, man. We're friends, so yeah. like it, it was really chilled, and they they um, they were really nice to me. And like I was worried they'd just be blunt and be like, "Hey, man, the songs that you've trying to work on with us suck." Those but guys are pretty <laughs> blunt with each other. They but are with <laughs> each other, yeah. But they were really nice to me, and like it's uh, it's cool because I, I have a really close relationship with them, especially with Brad. Like. Always SMS him and be like, "Hey man, like, uh, what do I do now?" And um, he's been really supportive of me, and that band has been really supportive of the Durban scene in general. And they've kind of paved a way for a lot of Durban bands to kind of make um, a bigger com music career. And uh, yeah, man, I'm really grateful for them. Yeah. Mm. Now you said you're quite new to the music scene. I mean, everyone was talking about you opening for the Lumineers <laughs> last year. What was it yeah. like? Did you get to chat to the Lumineers at all? Yeah, man, it was awesome. They were so cool. Like they were really, really down to earth. Um, they just told me so many interesting things. We had a we had a good chat about stuff, and they were so like really relaxed. Like they weren't like big pop stars or, or rock stars or anything like that. They were so chilled. And uh, man, that was like the best three days of my life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I'll see them again soon. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. That would be the best three days of my life. If I got to not even open for them, just just to just hang out with even them. Even just like sit there and look at them. Yeah. <laughs> like a creep. Okay. Now there was some controversy. I have to bring this up. When you opened for them in Cape Town, people were, wanted an international act to open up. Yeah. And this whole conversation has just started again with Casper Nieves talking about the Pharrell with Woolies campaign. Do you think South African artists don't get enough credit? Um, that's interesting. Like, I don't know, like, how experienced I am to comment on that. Like, so you are very experienced. You're a <laughs> South African artist, man. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> um, I guess, like, I know, yeah, I, I read that article about Casper, uh, and uh, I think even AKA said it. Like, AKA has said it too, yeah. yeah and a lot of artists feel this way. I mean, um, I've spoken to AKA about it and mm. Chad Simon, and everyone mm. wants South Africans to gather around the local music scene because. It is on par with, with yeah. what the international people are doing, but yeah. what's your take on it? Excuse me, I don't know. I, I really enjoy having yeah. local, uh, international bands come here. So, like, I don't really know what my take on it. I guess I'm, I also they love have when international bands come yeah, here. Yeah, man. So, if we just have South African bands all the time, like, how are we going to learn and experience different things? I think, like, we should have a blend, a good mix of both, you know, because mm -hmm. we can learn so much from international bands and international bands can learn something from us you know what I mean like everyone's got a different kind of wisdom so I think we've got to kind of work together you know what I mean like yeah. I honestly can't confess to know if there's a right or wrong to this but um, I think the solution is just finding a mix between both I guess mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what South African musicians inspire your music, or which ones were you inspired by? Uh, uh, definitely Gangs of Valet, because I worked yeah. with them, and Monarch, because I worked with them as well. And like even before I started working with them, I just always said to my label manager, I was like, yes, it would be cool if I could work with Monarch, like, not thinking it would ever happen. It was just like, I was just threw it out there. And then I actually did get to work with them, and it was really awesome, yeah. And even guys like Matthew Moore, like who uh, I hear is your arch nemesis. <laughs> I was just joking <laughs> earlier. I know. No, he's just my friend. Like, um, <laughs> just funny because we have similar styles and stuff, and people call me the Black Matthew Moore. And what stuff, does it like feel like to be called the Black Matthew Moore? Maybe I he should like, be uh, the, the White, white Matthew Moore. Yeah, the White Majorzy. Yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> like, I know. I take it as a, as a compliment, man. That guy's done so well. Like, he's. Honestly, like the nicest guy He's in the world. He's the nicest it, guy. It makes in me the world. sick inside my stomach. How I like. He? I look for weaknesses, and I'm like, where's your weakness? He has no weakness. And He's just, just so amazing. Nice. Yeah. He's like one of those people in the morning that you meet, and they're so happy and they yeah. love life. Yeah. But it's not a put on. It's not fake. He yeah, just is man. that person. He's got amazing parents as well. I think that's where like it came from. Not to say my parents were bad, but like. <laughs> Obviously, he listened to his parents. That's what happened. So, <laughs> <laughs> now you didn't come from a musical family. No. What did your family think when you said, "I want to be a musician"? Um, I never really said it. Like it just kind of happened, mm. and then I was there already, and I wasn't. I couldn't really say anything. So, <laughs> so it was like, "All right, cool. Well, all right, you're doing well." I'm happy for you. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people have talked about you teaching yourself how to play the guitar. Yeah. How hard was that? Uh, it was actually like such a natural thing for me. Like I did have some help from friends and stuff, but like as I progressed, like it just got more and more fun. And I was like, I picked up things quickly and I was like, flip. Eventually my guitar became like another 
I want to say appendage, another limb. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just got more and more fun, and I was like, yeah, I mean, this is what I'm supposed to do. So yeah. Have you taught yourself to play any other instruments? I've tried to teach myself to play piano. Uh, I'm horrendously bad at that. Well. I dabble in it, like I can do small things, but like I, I really want to do it properly. And uh, I can play banjo, ukulele, uh, other string instruments like that. Yeah.